feel the fire of truth. <laughs> I feel it burning in me. Talking brings, takes it away, the passion. I, I'm just I'm focused on the National Initiative right now. The National Initiative for Democracy. I think this is how we can solve the problem that we're facing right now with the corporations and the marching on Wall Street. I think if we pass the National Initiative, th corporates, they're fucked. Basically, they know they're going to... I mean, if people can pass laws, and we don't have to rely on only Congress to pass these laws, then we're going to be able to pass laws that aren't... Law, that, it's this elite group of, I don't know how many... I should know this. I I'm just started reading through the Constitution. I'm trial by fire here. I'm doing it. I'm going to go to New York. What? I was like, say it. I'm not going to say it out loud. I don't need to say it out loud. I have a plan. I need a cameraman. But I'm going to be driving through Pennsylvania, so maybe I can pick somebody up on the way. I'm going to distribute leaflets about this. Now, if... Okay, how many people are in Congress? I need, 93? Is that... How, is that how it's like one from each state. You think... Is that 538 fucking people in Congress? That's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking overblown population. I don't even remember what I just fucking... Looked at. I think if we pass the national initiative, if we put it on the ballot and pass it, that people are going to be able to start passing laws that circumvent these corporate collusions. Congress isn't going to do it. They're not going to pull the rug out from under their own feet, but we have to do it. This Congress is no longer suitable to govern. The size of the country and the amount of connective force we have, all this technology, makes it Congress obsolete. I mean, it's it's a great fallback plan. Like if the power goes out, you know, if there's a solar flare and all our power goes out, I mean, even if that was to happen, we'd have to rely on local governance anyway. It has to happen. It's going to happen. Is that... A, I still don't know if I'm too pushy when I say it's going, it's going to happen. Okay? It's just, so, th there I am. Um, I'm going to make it happen. We're all going to, I'm not going to do shit. We're all going to do it together. I can only do what I can do. You know, I mean, I can talk about it. I can pass flyers out to people and explain things to people. But I can't vote for uh, anyone other than myself. So we need to vote for this. And I'm sorry that I don't have something that I'm handing you right now saying, push this button and vote for it. But I will have that soon. And I don't want to... I just... I want to get people excited about change. I want to get... Man, I'm a different person when I have these drugs out of my system. I tell you, I have been so fucked up for the last three years, man. Particularly three. I mean, a five, you know. But really... I just went into fucking psychological underground. I was like freaked out by the attention that I was getting. I did not want it. I did. I only want it so that I can say, let's vote for the national initiative and 60 million people will vote for it. But all the shit that comes along with that is, is hard to deal with. Some people, like entertainers, have it seem, or, seem to have it easier. You know, they'll say... But th this is, I'm in touch with you. I, I'm, 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 I'm with you here, you know? I'm not, I'm not out there joking around and then, like, yelling at the crowd. I'm here with you. And I know I've got a camera in front of me. But I am here with you. I'm a person. I'm real. We can get together on Skype if you need to. We can do whatever. I'm sorry when people want to talk to me. If you want to talk to me on Skype and I just don't, it's because I've got this fucking hum human side where I'm like, I've got my friends, you know, I've got my life, this simple life. And I'm like prying into this chasm, abyss of servitude. 
abyssal servitude. And I know that's what I have to do with my life, is be the fucking servant. And if that means be the president, that's like the ultimate servant. Or be a fucking, you know, govern, government, uh, governor, or governance of some sort. Be a, I don't know, right now I serve tables, food. But I know how to run a restaurant. Okay, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting that you're there. I'm trusting it. This technology, without this te technology, the, the, the national initiative is useless, I think. But with this technology, it's not. It is good and useful. I don't want to rely on the technology, but good God, everything around us is fucking technology. If you pick up a stick and use it as a lever, it becomes technology. So, yeah, we rely on the technology. And we got to do it. we got to work. There are so many people dying sick lives because we're not doing it. So, doing it is paramount. Passing this fucking thing. Okay, the new guy, Mike Gravel, you know formed this national initiative. Mike Gravel is also the guy, you probably know him from the last election, he ran for president. He was the one that was responsible for ending the Vietnam draft by holding a filibuster in Congress for fucking 53 days or something. It's the same thing that they're doing on Wall Street. They're just sitting there. And eventually, people will, will break. And, and it'll be the people in the offices and, you know, the people on the streets. But the people on the streets, is there's going to be constantly new people on the streets. There's always those same fuckers in their offices hiding from the crowd, and they're going to eventually just break. If they can't get to work every day for 50 days in a row, because there's too much of a crowd in the way, they're going to fucking break. And that's the point. That's how we win. You just stand there. If they push you out of the way, it's their fault. I need to know how to put this on the ballot, and I, I'm going to continue researching this. God, I get to this point where I make a video about it, and then I just shelve it. I don't want to do that, but I need a team of people to work with. And my God, you have helped me. You people have helped me. You, Swen, I mean, amongst millions of other people, have come to me and given me information and listened to me and basically said, I will do whatever you want to do this. I believe in you. I believe you. So I know that I have a group of people that can help me. I, I, I'm a part of it. I, I, followers, what the fuck? I don't even use fucking Twitter because of that. It's disgusting. Why do we have to follow each other? I mean, it, it's inevitable, I guess. Single file line, right? I guess. You know, if we could all stand on top of each other and move forward, that's still a fucking single file line. But we're not following each other at that point. Okay, I'm not going to get into the zero gravity behavior because we're still on Earth and it's 2011. So let me just leave you with I love you. I know you. I think I uh, maybe hopefully you know me and if you have any advice, yeah, make a video. Make a video response. Let's do this, man. All right, I'm going to frame this right. There you go. There is a button to push. And I'll put it on the website. And you can register here. Register to vote if you haven't done that yet. And then you can vote on the national issue and vote yes. Vote no if you want, but vote yes. We need 50% of the population to vote yes on this. 50% of the votable, legally votable population at the time. There's, there's a little bit of specifics about what, like, uh, at the time of any, the last presidential election, however many people there were that were able to vote, we need 50% of that. So we need about 50 million people to say yes to this, to put it into, into law. And that's not hard, because some of my friends' videos are getting, like, 6 million views. So vote for it, and make a video response. Or no, no, well, you can make a response or not. Make a video talking about it, Please, I urge you to read, read about it. Uh, you go to Mike Ravel's YouTube page and watch videos of him talking about it. 
and get familiar with it, make a video talking about it, and then encourage everyone that's watching the video to do the same thing, to vote for it, to sign up and vote, and to make a video about it. Read about it, make a video about it. You are more than welcome to make it a response to this. Maybe we can get some snowballing momentum. Thank you. Peace.